Well, first, I think it's important to, to clarify that sexual harassment uh, is not automatically binded to, to, to uh, migration and immigration. We have had sexual harassment in Sweden for, for many, many years, unfortunately. What it now takes is to be very clear that is, this is not appropriate. It, it is uh, absolutely uh, out of line, and we need to take very clear measures now to, to show to these young girls and women that they are, of course, entitled to walk uh, in a city, to, to take part in, in a concert or whatever, to be outside without sexual har harassment. We, we, we shouldn't tie that to, to immigration. But more broadly, we've had the Paris terrorist attacks, these events, whether or not they're tied to the refugee crisis and to, to refugees in the country, they, they establish a, a fear factor among the population at a time when we're trying to absorb more, expecting further migrants probably to uh, arrive you know, later on, particularly in the summer of this year. Mm. How do you sell that message to, to the people, the balance between these two things? Because it does feel like a security issue that we don't have a handle on. Uh, but the security issue is serious enough. I mean, we have uh, Daesh, uh, IS uh, attacking, uh, and, and they are not uh, taking a responsible uh, journey through Europe to do what they want to do. Mm. Uh, they take the first base flight if they want to, to hurt us. So that is also a, a wrong combination to, to say automatically that if we have refugees, we will have more insecurity. But at the same time, we need to show our population that we stand up for security. Uh, but the, this uh, automatic combination and mix up with, with uh, immigration and, and security problems, uh, that is wrong. Do you not believe then that the Schengen zone is a security risk? Just the, because once somebody's in Europe, the, they can travel? The Schengen zone uh, need to be taken care of much more carefully. And I've warned uh, about this for, since I took office, that we need to make sure that the Schengen borders are handled in a correct way, in a safe way. Uh, so, uh, so we need, uh, because if we don't do that, that will jeopardize the, the, the uh, inner movement, so to speak. Would you be willing so, to see it banned and dropped? for a certain period of time, just until no, we get the security situation no, under control? No, no we, we can take other measures, I believe, uh, and that is to make sure that we handle this situation. We, we are a number of uh, member countries in the European Union. We need to do this much, much better. So the refugee crisis is, not, is, is much about, in Europe, is much about that we haven't handled it together as 28 member states. Italy and Greece would say it's a funding issue as well. It's a personnel issue. Wolfgang Schäuble, the German finance minister, suggested a EU-wide tax on petrol in order to push funds to address the refugee crisis. Would you be in favour of that? I'm not sure exactly if that's exactly the, the, the right move, but, but of course we have to help one another. It is a, a concern for 28 mem member states, so we need to find a solution. But as important is to find uh, a system that works. Uh, today it, it is not working, and we need to, to get grip on this, otherwise it will collapse. So uh, specific taxes, I, I cannot say, about, uh, say uh, whether that is wrong or right. But we need the system, we need to, to control our borders. We need a, a system where, where refugees come into Europe, seek asylum, and can be, can be transferred to another country. So we, take a, we share the responsibility, and that uh, return programs is also working, uh, cooperation with Turkey, with Lebanon and Jordan. And, and so there's a, there's a mixture of measures that are needed.